Now, your first defense forecast with Dakota Hunter. Chilly and windy today. Those are the stories for today. I'm Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. Thank you for logging on to WNYNewsNow.com. Let's break down your forecast for today. It, now, the rain showers that we had throughout the morning today, they're changing over to snow showers, and it's going to be very windy, and the temperature is falling throughout the day. 57, that was the official high that occurred just before 5 a.m. this morning. Take a look at what will end up by the time the day is done. 30. Ouch! And look at the wind, southwest 26 to 38 miles per hour with gusts definitely around 60, 65 miles per hour. In fact, we've already had reports of wind gusts over 60 miles per hour in some parts of the county. And we've also got trees and power lines that are coming down because of these gusty winds. So man, oh man, it is windy and it is chilly out there uh, for this Wednesday. Now on the Washington, now, uh, on the Washington warning map, the uh, National Weather Service continues the uh, high wind warning for all of western New York that continues until 8 p.m. tonight and they also continue the lakeshore flood warning for the immediate lake erie shoreline communities until 4 p.m. this afternoon and this is for the potential that with the gusty winds that it's going to cause some higher waves on the lake and crash into uh, the uh, the lakeshore areas and cause some minor flooding so if you live near the immediate lake erie shoreline that is prone to flooding keep an eye on that that lakeshore flood warning goes until four o'clock tonight so here comes the first defense on everything that you are going to need to know for today so so the winds will just continue to increase throughout the day. They will continue picking up as that cold front uh, continues moving away from our region. Now, the strongest winds are likely going to be between now, which is around noon, to pretty much this evening. Wind gusts around 60, 65, maybe even higher uh, than that. But that's a good range there. And as that cold front comes through, any rain that we have will change over to plain snow showers. And the good news here is no snow accumulation expected today. But that's another story going into tonight. Let's take you through Future Scan here, and you can see there's that snow uh, that is associated with that cold front. All that rain has now changed to snow, and then it'll continue throughout the day. And again, it's going to be a wet snow, so there's not going to be a chance for it to, you know, kind of stick. But as we go throughout the night, now the model tries to bring in a few uh, breaks in it, and I think that might be the case. I don't think it's going to be steady snow. There's probably going to be breaks in it. But as we go throughout the night tonight, there is a chance that this could stick throughout the night tonight. So do expect probably when you wake up in the morning a fresh coating. So don't be surprised if you see a nice little white coating of snow on the ground when you wake up tomorrow morning. And again, the uh, snow will continue on and off tomorrow, but I think we'll see maybe some partly cloudy skies tomorrow. Now, uh, future scan uh, snowfall amounts insignificant, but goodness gracious, we're in April and we're getting snow. It's, it's actually not that unbelievable. And you can see here the model's actually pointing to around one to one and a half inches of snow. Very significant, but it is snow nonetheless. Ikes, will we see any rebound? Let's see. Let's talk about it on that extended forecast that is coming up. Brought to you by Quick Solutions. And uh, now 34 will be the average high for tomorrow. And we're bringing in a few snow showers as well. Now a better chance for more widespread snow on Friday. Probably another couple inches of accumulation out of that. Very significant. But again, it's accumulating snow nevertheless. And it just really doesn't get any better uh, for the weekend either. Temperatures still down into the 30s. But at least we start to rebound a little bit uh, going into early next week. And take a look at that average high. We should be around 50 this time of the year and there's no signs of that anywhere for at least a little while.